What's up guys, I've got a really cool app to show you here that's a great replacement for Android's automatic brightness system. Now if you're like me and you like the idea of the automatic brightness system but you don't like the way it functions, you know it kind of does it too much, it kills battery, you end up just turning it off and using the manual brightness slider which is okay but then it can be annoying when you go into different light environments and you have to keep moving the slider. Lux may be the answer. Now Lux is available in the Play Store. There is a free and premium version, so you can get the free version if you want to test it out. I am using the premium version because I love it already. And basically it's auto brightness for Android, but it gives you a lot more customization and it's a lot more battery friendly if you choose the right settings. Now, if I hit up into uh, general here, you can see the automatic mode. This is probably the most important thing of the whole app. You can see I've got mine to adjust on wake only. Now what that means is when I turn off the display and turn it back on, when I turn it back on, basically, it um, quickly, Lux uses the uh, sensor over here on the, uh, the light sensor to adjust my display to the environment that I'm in. And that's it, it's then done for the rest of the time. You have to turn it off and turn it back on for it to readjust. Now, obviously you can use different modes. You can use dynamic, periodic, and ascending, which will all do different things. And if I quickly go into the uh, help section here, take the tour because it's a quick way to, to show you. You can see the different ways that the automatic brightness can adjust. You can see dynamic adjust the backlight when significant change in an ambient brightness is detected. Ascending will adjust the backlight when brightness of your environment increases only. And periodic, basically you can set manual times for when uh, you want it to um, up the brightness or down the brightness. So if you know you're going outside, you can actually do that. Now, these two settings up here will probably take a little bit more battery. That's why I use on wake and I've been pretty damn happy with on wake. So yeah, let's uh, go back into the settings here and check some other stuff out. Now, there's two ways it can actually get the uh, light from your surroundings. You can use the light sensor here, which most phones have. If yours doesn't work, you can actually make it use the uh, camera sensor, which I haven't tried, but you can make it use the camera sensor. I don't know how well it'll work, probably not as well, but yeah, most uh, new phones do have the uh, light sensor anyway. Now, what's really cool about this is if you can see here, I've got this persistent widget. You don't have to have this, but in Android 4.1, you can see you get to expand and close it. It's actually chosen my backlight at the moment to be 52% in my current light environment. So you can pull this down here. You can actually switch it to manual if you think it's rubbish and you can change it 42, 32, higher if you want. You switch it back to auto, hit refresh, and it'll go back to where it thinks it's right. Now, another cool feature with this app is you can actually go, if I click into it here, you can actually go below zero, which can help you save some battery. So you can see here I'm on 15, 20, and then it hits minus. And now we go, you can see the screen brightness pretty much gets to zero. So you get lower brightness than you can officially with uh, Google's automatic brightness. Now, why this is useful is uh, interesting, and I'll show you why. If I go to my modified link samples, you can basically change what it does. So yesterday I was in my bedroom, you know, and I was using my phone and I didn't have any lights on. So I just wanted to test this and basically it didn't pick up a light reading because, you know, there was no light in the room. So when there was no light in the room, I actually changed my lowest brightness to minus 10. So when it gets a reading of zero, which is when it's pretty much no brightness, no uh, lights in my room, the brightness will go down to minus 10. So you are actually going to save more battery than you would normally if it was at zero. Now you can change that to like minus 20, minus 30, minus 40, no problem. But then, you know, I liked it at minus 10 because I want to see my display and some of the colors and stuff like that. So that's really cool. And you can keep adding values here, guys. So if you want to say, if you get, I don't know, maybe a reading of 40 lux and you only want it to be 40%, you can add that. And you can do that really easy if I click this. If I want this, for example, now, when, when it gets a reading of 47 here, if I want that to not be 49, I can pull this down here to say maybe, I don't know, 27%. Hold down the link button and you can see it says linked. Now it will choose that brightness level for when it gets that reading. So if I go to my modified links, you can see when it hits 47, it's going to get 27%. And I lower my brightness level. Now I actually uh, don't want that because I like how it normally works. And you can see if I hit refresh here, it will go back up to 48 or whatever it thinks is worth it. So Lux is really cool, guys. I've got to say there's loads of different features you can have here. You can uh, switch around. You can see this is a night mode. It kind of tints your whole display. I haven't used it. I don't think it's uh, that great. 
I really like the fact that you can go below zero here and that is going to save you battery life. Like I said, there are other options you can see you can uh, actually integrate it into android if you have root but then you get a warning here which i didn't want to do by pressing proceed lux will install itself into android system i didn't want to do that because you know it might mess up some of my other stuff so i didn't bother there's loads of different things you can do here some stuff i don't even understand but you know it's nice it works really well i love the fact that you can uh, change i love the fact you can have it only do the adjustment when it wakes up you don't have to have it keep doing it, which is going to save you some battery life. So, yeah, guys, that's Lux for Android. Check it out.